If we return to the big ambitious dream of AlphaFold that may be the early steps on a very long journey in, um, in biology, do you think the same kind of approach can be used to predict the structure and function of more complex biological systems? So multi-protein interaction, and then, I mean, you can go up from there. Yeah. Just simulating bigger and bigger systems that eventually simulate something like the human brain or the human body. It's just the big mush, the mess of, the beautiful, uh, resilient mess of biology. Do, do you see that as a long-term vision? I do, and I think, um you know, if you think about what are the things, top things I wanted to apply AI to once we had powerful enough systems, biology and curing diseases and understanding biology uh, was right up there, you know, top of my list. That's one of the reasons I've personally pushed that myself and with AlphaFold. But I think AlphaFold, uh, amazing as it is, is just the beginning. Um, and 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 I hope it's uh, evidence of uh, what could be done with computational methods. So, um, you know, AlphaFold solved this this huge problem of, of the structure of proteins, but biology is dynamic. So really what I imagine from here, and we're working on all these things now, is protein-protein interaction, uh, protein ligand binding, so reacting with molecules. Um, then you want to get build up to pathways and then eventually a virtual cell. That's my dream, uh, maybe in the next 10 years. And I've been talking actually to a lot of biologists, friends of mine, Paul Nurse, who runs the Crick Institute, amazing biologist, Nobel Prize winning biologist. We've been discussing for 20 years now, virtual cells. Could you build a virtual simulation of a cell? And if you could, that would be incredible for biology and disease discovery because you could do loads of experiments on the virtual cell and then only at the last stage validate it in the wet lab. So you could, you know, the, in terms of the search space of discovering new drugs, you know, it takes 10 years roughly to go from, uh, uh, to, to go from, a, you know, identifying a target to uh, a, a having a drug candidate. Um, maybe that could be shortened to, you know, by an order of magnitude with, if you could do most of that, that, that work in silico. So in order to get to a virtual cell, we have to build up uh, uh, understanding of different parts of biology and the interactions, and and um, so we, you know, we every every few years we talk about this. With I talked about this with Paul, and then finally last year after AlphaFold, I said, now's the time we can finally go for it. And and AlphaFold is the first proof point that this might be possible. Uh, and he's very excited, and we have some collaborations with his with his lab. And they're just across the road, actually, from us. So it's just, you know wonderful being here in Kings Cross with the Crick Institute across the road, and. Um, and I think the next steps, you know, I think there's going to be some amazing advances in biology built on top of things like AlphaFold. Uh, we're already seeing that with the community doing that after we've open sourced it and released it. Um, and, uh, you know, I, also, I often say that I think uh, if you think of uh, mathematics is the perfect description language for, for physics, uh, I think AI might be end up being the perfect description language for biology because um, biology is so messy, it's so emergent, so dynamic and complex. Um, I think I find it very hard to believe we'll ever get to something as elegant as Newton's laws of motions to describe a cell, right? It's just too complicated. Um, so I think AI is the right tool for, for this. So you have to uh, you have to start at the basic building blocks and use AI to run the simulation for all those building blocks. So have a very strong way to do prediction of what, given these building blocks, what kind of biology, how the the function and the evolution of that biological system. It's almost like a cellular automata. You have to run it. You can't analyze it from a high level. You have to take the basic ingredients, figure out the rules, yeah. and let it run. But in this case, the rules are very difficult to figure out. Yes, You have exactly. to learn them. That's exactly it. So it's, the biology is too complicated to figure out the rules. It's, it's it too emergent, too dynamic, say, compared to a physics system like a, the motion of a planet, yeah. right? And, and so you have to learn the rules. And that's exactly the type of systems that we're building.